Well, as you mentioned, this is a request coming from the director of the Uffizi Galleries Museum in Florence. This is one of the most important art museums in the world. The director, Eric Schmidt, he's himself a German and in a video message is calling on Germany to return his painting, as you said, is worth million of years. But just to give you an idea of how serious this request is, in the video message you can see him hanging this black and white photograph version of the painting with the word stolen that has been translated in Italian and German. This is a way to show every single visitor about what is happening, what is the story uh, behind this. A story that is also very popular on the uh, official uh, Twitter account of the Uffizi uh, Gallery. He has also made some pretty significant statements there. He has said Germany has a moral duty to return the painting and, and I quote, this story is preventing the wounds inflicted by World War II and the horrors of Nazism from healing. Pretty strong words there, uh, considering that he's uh, German too. And just to give you a bit of background talks about this painting, it was first displayed in the Uffizi Gallery Museum in 1824. It stayed there until 1940, until uh, the outbreak of the Second World War, and then uh, Nazi troops uh, brought it back to Germany, and now is in the hands of this uh, German family. The family uh, wants to give money back to the museum. The museum has said, we don't want any money, as the legal owner of this painting is the Italian state, therefore the painting cannot be sold. And so legal channels um, have failed and Germany has said that they cannot do anything about it as of course this crime was committed over uh, 30 years ago. I see we've well, mentioned uh, Germany's response there but you know this is one of many paintings that are looted by the Nazis so you know what happens now? According to art historian Rodolfo Severo talks, there are over 1,600 pieces that have not been returned to Italy from the Second World War. So this is pretty significant. This gives you an idea of how serious this debate is, with some experts saying that it's uh, the responsibility of the Italian government to do something about, in particular, the Department of Culture.